Yo, welcome back to another My Career episode, Center Edition. Uh, hey, it's a big matchup. We lost against Christmas Day against the Lakers. Tough game. We started off slow, but then we picked up the pace, but we still lost. Jason Tatum got injured. I don't know how I don't know how injured he is this game, but uh, before I continue, make sure you like and comment down below. Subscribe. Put on notifications so you know when we upload. And with that being said, we have a huge matchup against Wemby, and it starts now. Me versus Wemby. Gonna be very interesting to see how this goes. Wembalaya. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. Here we go. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Damn. Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Well, it's New Year's Eve, Greg. Uh, do you still stay up for the countdown? Well, I, I try. It gets harder every Oh, Lord. Year. We're, we're still hanging in, bringing in the New Year. I, I'm not quite the night owl like you are, my friend. <laughs> All wise tonight will be on the matchup between Victor Rembenyama and Why would you not pass it to me? These are two of the top candidates to win rookie of the year. So there's definitely oh, some yeah. extra incentive to win this game. And it's a tall task contending literally. with Victor Wembenyama. Literally. A never before seen combination of size. Yep, I get right back. We've Let's go. Unicorns, but perhaps LeBron said it best. This guy's an alien. And there could be something of a feeling out process here. Or maybe these teams feel confident in their preparation and are ready to just go at it. And now the opening lineup for Boston. I'm John yep. out there with Horford. And it's Hauser in at the three, the small forward. Brown drives in. That shot is off. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Let's go. Come on. And Ben Yama outside. Yep, give me that. Grabs the ball. Well, oh, yeah, wide open pass. Spurs in their last game, a loss to the trail. Lay me. Damn. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work, and it pays dividends. Spurs yep, we're here. Around. Pass to Sohan. Pass to Wembenyama. Four on the clock. Yep, we here. Either for Wembenyama. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. Oh yeah, give me that Wemby. Come here, Wemby. Well, that yeah, come here, Wemby. The importance of creating for your teammates. Spurs have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? And it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Oh, and I keep forgetting about that. Pain. Here's the break. And he caught that pass and I keep forgetting about that alley. To the big slam. And you can see the importance of that steal. Really a four-point swing with the conversion at the other end. Out left of the wing. For three, oh, yeah. Brogdon. Here's prime time. Cool. How do you... Oh. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Osman, the pass to Wembenyama. Back to Osman. Pass to Sohan. Six to shoot. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, oh, yeah. here's Brogdon. Oh, come on, Brog. The last game against Toronto. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. Now, here's Payne. 
after Malcolm Brogdon's miss. Zoan, the pass to Webb. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws. Oh, uh, that's on a block. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembanyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven. Nine. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. They set the screen. 13 feet away. That one rolling around. Here's prime time. Lay me. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Payne with it. Hasn't made one yet. Collins looking around. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. On offense, here are the Celtics. Oh! They're on a 10-2 run here. They double him with pain. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's time up there. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. <laughs> okay. Damn. Damn. Pass to Osman. Osman. This is the paint. Chetty. The feed to Collins. Message. Chipped, and he Give me that shit. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Let me. Oh. Damn. Time. That would have been nice time I finished. Last game for Boston. They picked up the W against Toronto. Now here's Payne. He's covered by Brown. Got a hand on it. And he gets it back. For three, bullet. Count it. His second make in four attempts. How many blocks do I have? Four? Yeah, Good lord. With fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Both teams will make substitutions. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. You look at prime time. And I know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration. He's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots Imagine. of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. So there you go. And as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. We've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. Here's Juan Benyama for three. Rebound, Boston. Prime Time's got nine rebounds now tonight. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Oh, yeah. Porzingis had a lot of suitors, GA, over the summer. Eventually, the Celtics made the move for him. Yep. Porzingis rehabbed his game and value in D.C. With the Wizards rebuilding, he was a prime trade target. Boston went for him early, and he could be a difference maker for the Celtics. And Benyama gets the bucket. And few defenders to ever play in this league have the ability to slow win Benyama inside. Rogged in the pass to prime time. Oh, yeah. May I have this dance, one B? As that one goes in. May I have this dance? Assists in the game. And so it's pain with it. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the yep. FedEx Forum in Memphis. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Yep. Boston's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Oh, Wemby. They double him with Wembenyama. Here's Persingas, and again it's Boston converting. Nice well, time. This is drives. He is shot ready on the catch. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. 
Here's Wimbenyama. Prime time grabs the ball. Wait, are we out? Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. And the rejection by Wimbenyama. Here's Branham. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Boston. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. We'll return shortly. Their defense has been garbage, giving up all those easy looks. I could do better right now getting stops. At least Damn. there's some kind of prep. Bye later. Alright guys, now let's Okay, Zion, Thanks Amon. Oh damn, most of young people. Okay. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. New Year's really Eve, wow. Incredible game from prime time. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought. Damn! Why would you shoot that, Brogdon? Rembenyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Look at all Jawade. Kevin Bissell out there with Cameron Payne, and it's Osman in at the three spot. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Here's Wembenyama, and Wembenyama throws it down. Watch out, Wembenyama hammering that one home. Brogdon looking it over. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting to press the alley oop button. Pass to Wembenyama. Now here's Vassell. Defense right on him. to Osman. Five on the clock. Prime time grabs the board. Prime time's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw it's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down and, and who wants to see that it's time now to hear from our hall of fame reporter david aldrich that's the latest david thank you very much kevin his rookie year spurs coaches suggested that jeremy sohan shoot his free throws one-handed he said i thought they were yeah. he got his elbow under the ball and percentages rose Coach Popovich said a lot of guys wouldn't even want yeah. to try it, but he doesn't worry about what people think. He just wants to get better. Kevin? I can see it. All right, David. Thanks. Now here's Payne. Scoreless thus far. Osman, the pass to Payne. Here's Sohan from outside the arc. Prime time grabs the board. Prime time's got his 16th rebound on the night. That's hey. one for their first four to start the second half. Can't cash in from close ring. Not hey, how they to start this half. hey, what's up? How you doing, Val? Brick after brick. Let's start building the building. How is your night going? Oh shit. Wembenyama sinks the triple. Wembenyama's got yeah. five points now in the quarter. Oh my lord. Why is that going to me? And think this guy is a uh. cheat code hitting threes. Head well over seven feet tall. Yep, we are. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. Hey. He just cannot be contained. Hey. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. Now, here's Brogdon. He has yep. six. And here's That's Brown him. outside. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Yeah. Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. And here's Payne following Jalen Brown's three. It's Wembanyama at the elbow. That shot off. Boston's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Shooting Damn, one minute. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And while we have a moment, let's find out which point guards have had the best month from the charity strike. Fourth, Malcolm Brogdon. 
they are as reliable at the free throw line as you're going to find in this league. And that's something we've come to expect from the point guard position. You know, but even so, don't take for granted what this group has done at the free throw line. They deserve a ton of credit for the work they put in to achieve that level of consistency and excellence. Osmond, because 17 footer goes shot. Osmond's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, that's as wide open as you're going to get. The defense needs to lock in and be better than that. Brogdon with it, working on pain. Over to yeah. the left wing. Hauser. Bang. Ah. No good that time either. The Spurs have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Back to Osman. The pass to Vassell. Three pointer. That one misses. The Celtics have gone two of seven. Oh, that's a dime. The third. That leaves room for improvement, sir. Prime time. The pass to Brogdon. To the inside. Oh, Get dunked on. Down it goes, jamming that one home. And this sort of yep, awesome thumbnail. dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Here's prime time. Now Payne. Now the pass to Vassell. Here's Wimbenyama. Rebound by the yep. Celtics. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. To the paint. Oh, wow. Out to the wing. Payne passes to Wembenyama. Can't get it to fall. Yep. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. And it's Brogdon off the drop. Hey! And how about he takes Come on. on the defender head on and then throws down the two-hander. Guys, nice. straight power there. Straight power. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've Damn. had a tough time taking the lid off. And you don't anticipate a guy over seven feet tall pulling up and drilling a shot like that. Brogdon, marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. That's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. <laughs> oh, as he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. A three from Wen Benyama. That doesn't go either for Wen Benyama. They double him with Wen Benyama. Three pointer, Horford. Oh, and he almost had a four point play right there. He'll go to the line. With Smart. A chance for three. You know, if you give him the opportunity, Al Horford will seek contact. He wants to get to the line. And he can't hit the second. And on his Thank third you. shot, he finally gets it to fall. And here's Wembenyama. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. They trail by 11. That doesn't go either for Wembenyama. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Up top, Brogdon. That's him. From the top of the key, he buries it. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Ren Benyama with it. Now guarded by prime time. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Not loose. We've got 108 left to play in the final quarter. Payne kicks to Osman. Passes to Wembenyama. Shot from 16. Good as the jump shot falls. Wembenyama. I can't believe you made that. Down to a single digit deficit for San Antonio. Prime time. The yeah, give me one, Hauser. No good from outside. When you're not in rhythm with the three, uh. why do you keep firing from there? Back to Payne. 
From the arc, Brian John grabs the board. Oh yeah, I need this. I need a 30 for 30. Come so on. So the Celtics now. Oh yeah. Lay me. And it's oh. Craig, nothing short of some once in a lifetime plays are gonna save them now. Yeah, the, the door is just about to close on this. Oh, we out. One. But hey, never say never. Maybe. Oh, I can't go. Damn. Let's take the W, though. Let's take the W. So it's the Celtics picking up the win. A solid win on the We will take the W. Silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Older, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. Thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Damn. Okay. We'll take it. Yeah, so hey. Oh yeah, put the cameras on me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, put that put those cameras on me. So, with that being said, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like and comment down below. We have our W against Wemby. Great matchup. Tough competitor. But with that being said, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like and comment down below. Subscribe. Put on notifications so you know when we upload. And with that being said, we'll see you next time on Baller Central Gaming. Yeah.